Now, I've basically staked my reputation on, on making sure that this works. My tolerances on these rigs are extremely, extremely tight. The quality of the product that's coming out of the machine is exceptional. We manufacture our own rigs, we operate our own rigs, we maintain our own rigs, but we work for clients. We're in for gas oil, uh, depending on what region we're in. What we have here is one of our masks, yeah. our 750 masks. Basically, it's composed of two sections. This intersection, which we call the top inner, we have a top outer. It's raised hydraulically. It telescoped from the outer up to the working height. Well, initially, we actually we contracted uh, two fabricators to start cutting for us, uh, square tubing, because it's, it's, it's an oddball size, so it's not simple around, which anybody can do. Uh, we actually sent them to this manufacturer to cut them for us at a pretty hefty price. We, we brought the products back in, already pre-cut from this other fabricator. We started to assemble the legs and uh, the structure and recognize that the quality wasn't there that we were actually looking for. It's very clear, I can't express enough how critical these dimensions are coming off of the machine, that they have a lot of intricate cuts on them. It has a lot of angles to it. It's now, it, it has helped on the fitting part as well as on the welding part. Obviously when you have a, a part that's fit together that has a little gap to no gap, well it's less weld time that I gotta spend on it. So you improve your fitting and you improve your welding time. Now when AGG first came up to me, they, you know, as any sales pitch will tell you, you know, that within two millimeters, it's kinda hard to, to imagine, but, uh, uh, but it's come through. Well this machine can identify and read all four sides of the tubing prior to cutting it. So in that respect, that's one of the reasons that it can maintain the tolerances that we're looking for. Currently, this is where we have our HCG machine set up. So it takes very little space. As you can see, we built it on a skid. So if I needed to take this machine anywhere for whatever reason, I could actually pull up the skids and move it wherever I needed. These guys are, are fairly new to the fabrication industry. So it, it, it doesn't take a long time to, to teach them how to cut, as you can see. And they started pretty quickly. As you can see, there's a chuck on it. So a lot of times, most companies, what they have an issue with is trying to hold that piece there. Normally, what it'll do, it'll walk on you to the left or the right, which you won't get a, an accurate cut. But with this chuck turning, it keeps it and it maintains it in a certain position. The machine does it all by itself. I mean, it follow the step, you get your end, end result, and you keep on moving. One of the things I like about HEG is that it's flexible as far as what softwares you're running. Our, our engineering department has had a seamless, uh, as when it comes to me putting a part into the machine, we haven't had any issues as far as that goes. I can cut rectangular tubing, square tubing, round tubing, even some uh, small plating within the range of the torch, the manipulation of the torch, I can cut even plate. As you can clearly see, there's probably eight different types of cuts right here that we're having to make. So they have to fit up metal to metal. Typically, I have two passes right here. Typically, you would see four, three to four passes of welding wire, but because of the reliability of the machine making precise cuts, my welding time is cut down severely, as much as 20 to 30 percent. But more importantly, I can actually start cutting early, stage it, and I can have two weeks of backlog for my guys. I outsourced, uh, the first time we outsourced, uh, I'm going to say 25 percent of our rig. Uh, I was looking at a List price of uh, two hundred forty thousand uh, dollars to cut the same thing that I can do here now, and the quality wasn't there. Uh, it's I'm gonna say within three rigs I can pay for itself. Your reputation is developed for on-time delivery, but in my opinion, reputation a good reputation is, is sustained when you can provide a good quality product. Anytime you can go to to CNC rather than than hand cut. I mean, it's a no-brainer.